Hello, good morning. My name is Paul DeFilippo, and I'll be talking with you about passions, some of my passions, and how they affect my life. After all, the entire premise behind an Owl Speak Out is to talk about something we're passionate about. So, what is a passion? Webster defines a passion as something you are enthusiastic about or excited to do. However, I believe it is much more than that. Whether we realize it or not, passions play an important role in our daily lives. Passions, passions challenge us and motivate us to become better people. They give us the energy to overcome obstacles and push through and endure the hard work so that we can achieve things we never thought were possible. Without passions, life would seem nearly boring and meaningless. Passions will enable us to achieve great things and over us, overcome our fears. When we fall, passions are what help us get back up, try again so we can succeed. Two of my greatest passions in life are snowboarding and scuba diving. Ever since I was a young boy, I've always loved snowboarding. From the first time I put on my bindings, I knew that snowboarding was going to be my passion. For me, it's carving turns in fresh powder, or hitting jumps in the half pipe, or even just the ultimate sense of freedom you get. Create the greatest feeling in the world. As a kid, I'd watch the X Games and see some of my idols, like Sean White, perform insane tricks in the half pipe. Living in Switzerland, I had the opportunity to ski in the French and Swiss Alps with my friends every weekend. It was then that I set a goal. I was gonna land a backflip. I practiced this goal for the next couple seasons on airbags and trampolines, but I could never get in the, gain the courage to do it on a real jump. That next summer, my family and I moved to Texas, so I did what any Texan would do, and I picked up football. Unfortunately, my sophomore year, I tore my ACL and resulted in a full knee reconstructive surgery. I was not going to be snowboarding for any time soon. After a year of hard work and hundreds of hours of physical therapy, I was finally ready to hit the slopes. That winter, my family and I went to Telluride, Colorado, Telluride, Colorado for a vacation. On the second day of the trip, I woke up and I felt ready. So a little while later, I found myself staring down the perfect jump. Before I could come to my senses, I went for it, and I landed straight on my head. <laughs> Fortunately, I was wearing my helmet, and the only thing hurt was my pride. So I did what any passionate person would do, and I hiked back up the hill to do it again. This process happened four times, and just as I was about to give up, I finally landed it. Just as I landed it, I was overcome with the greatest sense of joy I'd ever experienced. This experience taught me two important lessons. To set high goals. With enough determination, perseverance, and passion, you can achieve anything. As much as I love snowboarding, the season is short, and I needed something new in the summer. So before I start, I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine you're in a strange foreign world. There's no oxygen, it's dark, cold, and completely uninhabitable by humans. You are actually 90 feet underwater, swimming through a strong channel, wearing a mask and fins, breathing out of a regulator. Of course, I'm talking about my newest passion, scuba diving. I've always loved the ocean, whether that be surfing as a kid in California or in marine biology. I've always been fascinated with what's beneath the surface. This past summer, I had the opportunity to spend three weeks in the British Virgin Islands learning to sail, scuba dive, and researching marine biology and geology. With each dive, my, crash, my passion grew stronger. Over the three weeks, I completed 25 dives and I've earned the certification of a Naui Open Water Advanced Diver with specialties in deep and night diving. Aside from the sheer beauty associated with scuba diving, I love the discipline, technical skills, and patience required to dive safely. At deep depths, seemingly meaningless noises can quickly turn into severe, life-threatening situations. If you miscalculate your dive tables, go down too deep, stay down too long, or even ascend too quickly, 
A lot of things can happen, such as nitrogen narcosis or even decompression sickness. As my passion grows for scuba diving, I have set a new goal. I want to become a Naui dive master. Being a dive master will enable me to train others and lead them on dives. This will be no easy task and will require years of diving, classes, and hard work. I'm just beginning my adventure in the scuba diving, but I know my passion will keep me going and help me enjoy every minute of it. While I love snowboarding and scuba diving, I realize that what I'm truly passionate about is challenge myself to try new things and pursuing goals. So I have a challenge for you. I challenge you to go out there, try new things, and find your passion. I guarantee that not only will you have fun, but you'll find more meaning in your life, and you never know, you might even change the world. Thank you.